the program is named after one day, one hour, and one topic. Right? So for this, this is a 18 mission, 18 days mission. Altogether, it has I have uh, we have 18 days before school reopen, and it will start uh, stop until I think Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. A few days before school reopen. Okay, later you will, you shall see. So it's one day, one hour, one topic. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. That also after your dinner, your prayers. Then as you relax, then you sit down and listen to my instinct calls. All right. So then uh, this is the session. Uh, please snap this one. The question that uh, we are going to discuss. The session, the first uh, page that I'm showing you, I have a nice session with the dates on the 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st January, and then that will be the next year already. Okay, soon. First, second, uh, third is Sunday. So that's why I don't have class on the third Sunday. And then come back to uh, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then for example, today is the first lot. Okay, the, today is the first first lot. I take my pointer first. Okay, my laser. Okay, first lot. And it's on, uh, today is 28th of December. And it's function. I'm going into function. And the question that I'm going to discuss is of paper 1, 18 and 19, the number. We don't, uh, Putra Jaya, they don't have a uh, function for paper two. They don't have the question for function in paper two. Okay, then for another example, I give you tomorrow will be the next slot. Next session, 29th of December, Prasaman Quaradik, and paper one, question 14. Okay, question 14. And then, uh, then you may ask, teacher, huh, one hour, you, uh, one question, are you going to take one hour or be, uh, during, after discussion, this, after discussing this one, uh, then there are lots of things that I'm going to put in later here, lah, about hot question, is form, uh, whatever instinct that I have. Uh, in my mind that I want to share with you. And then followed by function, uh, quadratic function, right? And then uh, Persaman Serenta, uh, sim simultaneous equation, index and law, coordinate geometry, okay, or geometry coordinate, okay, statistic, sukata membulat, jang jang, okay, progression. And then for the seconds, uh, for the following, the 10th session will be 7th of January, linear law. Uh, for this one, then you will see linear law, paper 1, it is number 15, and then paper 2, number 8. So please get ready all this answer before I discuss with you, right? And then for uh, on the 8th of January, there will be the 11th so, uh, slot. Okay, then it will be differentiation. Uh, this is hot question. Anyone of you have tried this paper? Uh, Try, have you done this paper? How do you find this question 10? Right? It's simple, but uh, it needs a lot of thinking skill. Right? And then this is pengamiran, okay, integration, question 11 and 12, and paper 2, question 6, and vector, followed by vector. Oh, sorry, I put the... I placed the differentiation and the integration together because they after another. Then followed by vector, trigonometric function, okay, permutation and combination, okay, keberangkalian, this is probability, okay, and then taburan keberangkalian, this is uh, probability distribution, and on the 16th, I think 16th is on Sun, uh, 8, 10, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or on the, on the 16th January, it depends, okay, I might cancel the class. Okay, that towards the end, then only we decide whether we want to and choose one item from uh, part C. I believe that all of you have chosen what question to answer for part C. And these are all the questions for paper one and paper two. Okay, do you understand? Have you, have you screenshot the uh, uh, timetable so that you get prepared the question? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, Saranya, thank you for responding. How about the rest? Okay. This, okay, I play you back the video, uh, the video, the slide. This is the first, uh, the first nice slot. 
okay just snap so that you have the question number you, you then you shall know uh, of a particular day what question i'm going to discuss okay and then this is uh session 10 to 18 uh, to 17 i'll say it, uh, to 17. Okay, these are all the questions from paper one and paper two putrajaya then you may ask me teacher why you choose putrajaya because that is the latest that i found in uh you are uh, in tally from teacher's post okay today we are going into function are you ready guys please respond to me please have your yes, paper teacher. with you okay please have your paper with you have your notebook with you because i'm going to tell you a few things it's not it's not by only answering the question okay i'm going to tell you uh, what's going on okay let me see whether i can on my camera on this side now. at least you can see me okay now can you see my tyson yeah this one this one my tyson yeah is there chinese new year is around the corner oh yeah wait now uh, wait wait i want to show you something wait to, en to encourage you a bit I want to show you something here. Yeah, my fan is blowing. <coughs> Show you something here. You see this one? You see this two little cute guy? You see this? Can you see this one? So this is how I enjoy my day. Right? So you also the same thing. But waiting for your SPM, then you should know what to do. Because locking yourself at home is not easy, that you cannot go out. Okay. So today, this is function. Are you ready with all the stuff? I actually I go I go and take my stuff is for you to get ready all your stuff. Okay, now let's continue. If you are ready, let's continue. Now it's already uh, night uh, twelve. Let's see how many I have here. I have twenty two of you, and there are some students from my uh, high school, my junior, from my high school, from my kampung. Right. Okay, let's continue with this question because later I got lots of things that I want to discuss with you. So, uh, sila isi kehadiran anda. Eh? follow the link okay then we go on to this this is a very simple question let's do this one okay it says that given that the function given given the function fx is equals to 5 minus 2x and gx is this so you highlight in exam because it is of three marks remember one mark we are about we are allowed to spend 1.5 minutes as i told you okay four marks here means that you cannot exit four minutes okay you cannot exit four minutes meaning that this question should be easy for you to score and please make sure that you don't do silly mistake okay given that this is the function given to you and gx is given to you very simple this question is very simple okay but you need to understand uh, memahami soalan eh. Dia kata nilai X, the value of X when Fx maps onto itself. Nilai X apabila Fx map uh, memeter pada diri sendiri. Maksud dia, this is the object. Dia peta, dia peta dia pada diri dia sendiri. Means that the object and the image are the same. Okay, meaning that this is the object. This is the function given to me. Minus 2X. And then the turn out is x. If I were to represent it with my diagram, so it will be object here. 
Okay, then it turn out. So this is my fx. fx equals to 5 minus 2x. And this is the diagram. Do you get me? Okay, this is someone doing. Right? So this is the question. Okay. Now, when this is, what do you do? You just solve this. Okay, you just solve this question. It's very simple. So when you solve this, please re, uh, please remember you're in exam. You might be a bit nervous. So operate this one carefully. So you get 3x equals to 5. And remember, for this, the subject should be always on the left. So it's 5 over 3. So this will be your answer. So very simple. Then you get your, yourself the marks already here. You get a mark. Either the working got marks or not, it depends. Whatever we want to make sure that we get the answer correct. Okay, then we go to B. Okay, let's go on to B. Then it says that uh, the value of X, this question is saying the value of X, if G, F, X is equal to this, they are equal. So how do you do? This is the information given. So it will be G, F, x okay equals to half gx so what do you do now gfx you ask yourself is fx given to you if you are using uh you are solving the question of function you ask yourself is this given to you is this given to you then you say yes if it is given to you then what do you do you sum you sub the function with the one given. So it will be 5 minus 2x. Okay, equals to, equals to, equals to, equals to half. Then you ask yourself again, is gx given to you? Refer to the information. Yes, gx is given. So 3x, you sub. Okay, I use color to represent so they can see very clear. This is very simple. Right, very simple question. So then you want to proceed. You ask again yourself, is the function of G given to you? Okay, if the function of G is given to you, this will be your object. This will be your object that it is here that you are going to sub into here. So this one will turn into three. Okay, then will be 5 minus 2x because this is your x equals to 3x over 2. Okay, and you want to solve this question uh, very fast. Okay, this is 3 and this is 3. You can cancel off. If you cannot, then what do you do? You divide it by 3. You divide it by 3 on the both side. So then this is cancel off. Okay, this is the shortcut. Then you cross multiply. Okay, you cross multiply. You will get it as 10 minus 4x equals to x. Finally, you'll get 5x equals to 10. And then you get your x equals to 2. Done. Okay. So when you solve this without you talking, it should be less than 3 minutes that you solve. So... Now you already get your three marks. Three marks already enter your pocket. Okay, it's just to wait for your result to get A only. Okay, now next. Is there any problem that you want to ask? You may uh you may send in the question if you have anything that you want to ask. Okay, let me see. I want to see. Okay. You can uh, send in the question into chat box. Then I have to go there and read. All right. So then we go on to the next question. So diagram 4 below shows the composite function. Uh, so the question says composite function. Composite function of HF. So this is given to you. And remember, for composite function, it's actually like our... Uh, our transformation, okay, our combined transformation. So for HF, okay, the object that we can fit in into the HF is 
here. So it's behind F, it's here. Therefore, indirectly, you know that in order to, for the composite HF, means that the first function that it runs should be Fx, meaning that this is your F, right? Then only follow by H. So, dia terbalik. So, then you may put that, or oh, you make a note there, for the composite function, the way of reading the composite function is exactly like the way you read the combined transformation. And uh, then you are uh, you will not confuse. So killing two birds with one stone. Right. So then the question very simple. It says state nyatakan the function that maps u uh, x to u. Okay, from x to u. The question say x to u. What is the function? Simple. It's your f x. It's your function. It's the function f. Right. It's the function f. And then B. So here are four marks for A, B, C. Then you should know that each one is one mark. And there is there is one question with two marks. And you if you ask me which question is with two marks, I won't tell you because to me, for this question, if I set the question, I'll give one mark each. Right? I won't give you three marks. Uh, meaning that this type of question is helping you to score. Okay, HF. Then you see here HF follow if follow means that go all the way out okay from the first h h until f for x so the x here until the last what's the answer so it's your w right it's your w so fine you get the answer again right uh, maybe of this question if let's say two marks working you might need this fx hfx equals to h you go to u first then only you get your w so this one might be one mark here extra one mark and this is one mark and just now this one one mark so the final mark will be at c okay now for c inverse w inverse the inverse function of h inverse function of h Means the balik lah from here that you go back. This is direct function. For, look, for our function, the arrow is very important. Refer to the arrow. So inverse going back. So W, the W will become the image uh, the image already for this function. So going back. Then it will your answer will be U. So one mark. So if you see four marks means that they demand working which part they need that has working to me is this All right then you may ask me teacher if i don't uh, show this one because from the diagram it's very simple can i just write the answer uh, for me it shouldn't be a problem tanya cikgu yus boleh tak cikgu yus cikgu yus ada tak kat situ Ya, cikgu Yus, uh, uh, cikgu Yus mengetahui penandaan paper 1 lebih detail. All right. Do you have any question to ask? Boleh, boleh, boleh. Boleh. Sorry. W terus dapat dua markah. Nah, uh, paper 1 ni uh, ada dua markah. Dia terus open. Uh, guys, listen carefully. Puan Yus is giving some advice to you on this working. Okay, dua soalan telah dibincang. Apakah uh, nasihat Puan Yus kepada Cikgu Yus kepada anak murid? So, untuk sebabkan ini paper 1, dia lebih fokus kepada uh, jawapan akhir. Tapi apa pun macam soalan yang function sekarang ni, uh, betul lah. Macam tu je lah cara penandaan dia. Hmm. Okay, guys. Direct. Direct. Hmm. Apa? Direct. Jawapan. Hmm. But please make sure that ah, you mm. Okay, mesti pastikan tulisan anda kemas eh. And sekali lagi, I ulang. Okay, because penandaan untuk paper anda kali ini jatuh pada waktu persekolahan. It's not cuti sekolah. Please make sure that your handwriting is neat for teachers to read. 
because they are teachers, they need to go back to school and teach early in the morning and then come back in the petang baru dia tanda paper anda. Dia, dia sudah penat. Okay, don't torture your teacher. Nanti dia overlook your answer. Uh, then, uh, kalau tidak, then when your result keluar, you tak puas hati dengan result of one paper, you kena bayar RM50 untuk semakan semula. Okay, now, okay, yang tadi itu wet, wet water, no? Itu saya tak main. Now, I nak main dengan soalan yang saya nak masuk. Right? Okay, so let's go into this. Okay, ini yang saya nak bincangkan. If you ask me, teacher, what kind of hot question you will form? Okay, in exam, I tell you, these are the questions that I'm going to form for my hot question. Right? Bukan lagi penyelesaian. Okay, let's look into this question, all of you. Antara yang hubungan, see, this is a relation. Okay, this is a relation. Antara hubungan berikut, all of all this for A, B, C, D relation, yang manakah bukan fungsi? Asking you, yang manakah bukan fungsi? So remember, our function, we start with relation. Relation, we have four types. Out of four types, there are two types that is considered as function, two types. Okay? Then from two types, it's only one type that we have inverse. Uh, this is how I put my note lah, so that you boleh faham. Right, so now, of this, ini dia tanya di bahagian ini. This gambar aja tanya bahagian ini. Okay, who can give me the answer? You check on the diagram given. A, B, C, D. Yang manakah D. bukan fungsi? Yes? D. D. Kenapa D? Um, A, B, C, D. Yang keempat, D. Okay, your answer is zero. Okay, ada seorang pilih D. Lagi? A. A. Bukan fungsi, no. Bukan fungsi. Ada yang pilih A. B dan C tak ada pilih dan saya pun pilih lah. Okay, how about others? B. Dah masuk B. Ha, lagi? Tak ada. Okay, let's check the answer. Yang manakah bukan fungsi? Okay, so out of four relation, okay, out of four relation, saya padamkan yang ini dulu eh. I padamkan yang ini. I don't want to talk about this one first, this one later. Yang ini akan saya cerita kemudian. Out of four, out of the four relation, which is, take, ambil nota, okay, which is one to one, Okay, and one to many. Okay, and then many to one. And many to many. Secara hafalan that you already memorize. Okay, which one yang consider as function from these four types relation? Anyone can respond to me? These are the four types of relation, hubungan, empat jenis hubungan. These are the empat jenis hubungan. Okay, yang mana satu kan merupakan fungsi. A, apa? I was asking one to one teacher. Huh? One to one. One to one, okay, good. Lagi? Many to one. Many to one, okay, good. These are the two. These are the two that out of the four relation, these two are considered as function. So then, beside that you memorize, you should be able to see from the either the arrow diagram or the graph, or the order pair. There are three types, the representation. Okay, not only by memorizing. So the first question in front of you, it was arrow diagram. Okay, so then asking you, you may you have to check. Oh, this is one-to-one. -one. Look into A, it is one-to-one. -one. So this is a function. Do you agree? One to three, two to five, three to eight. It's one-to-one. 
Okay, how about B? B is 2 from your left, 2, the element in uh, X, 2, that it go to Y, you have two elements. 2 goes to negative 2 and 2 goes to 1. So meaning that this is 1 to many. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes. So if one, uh, if for B, if for this case, for the first pair that you indicate is one to many, is one to many a function from relation? Is one no. to many a function? Check the one that we mentioned just now. Function is only these two. Is one to many a function, my question? No. No. So no. this is out. So who just now say that B is out? Okay, sorry. Bukan fungsi. Okay. Uh, sorry, just now that you say B, right? Okay, this is not fungsi. Right. So this is not fungsi. Okay. Now, then we go to C. 2 to 10. Right? And then 2 to 10 means that it's... 1 to 1, 2 to 10. The element in X is 2. The element in Y is 10. So 1 to 1. So for the first pair, this is 1 to 1. And then 4 to 12 and 5 to 12. This one got many. 2 means consider many. And more than 1 means consider many to 1. So is many to 1 a function? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, so this is a function. Right. So then after that, we go to D. 5 to 2 is 1 to 1. 7 to 4 is 1 to 1. 8 to 2. A, then you see 2. You have two elements on the left that going to 2 on the right. So it's many to 1. So 7 to 4 is 1 to 1, nah? Okay, so is D a function? Yes. Yes, so D is a function. So then what is your answer? Yang manakah bukan fungsi? Yang manakah bukan fungsi? Which one is not a function? What is your answer? Which one is not a function? Read the question. Ah, B will be your answer. B will be your answer because it is not a function. Okay, now that's how you see your answer. Okay, D is a function, A is a function due to what we have understood this. Please talk, take down note. I already start my uh, hot question in this. All right? So I did say that the one that I gave you is of arrow diagram. Please make sure you check on the graph and the order pair. If question given to you as in maybe for A, they give you in order pair, okay, or they give you in graph. If you're not familiar to uh, from seeing that uh, the function from that kind of representation, you transform into arrow diagram, right? Uh, this is my advice. You have to work for your marks. Okay, then one part, it says that nyatakan sebab anda. You have to give a reason. For this kind of question, I'll say I'll give one mark. One mark with the one that you mentioned B, with the reason. Then only I'll give you one mark. So what is your reason? Can you tell me what's the reason that you say B is not a function? What is your reason? Anyone? One object has two image. Okay, means that it's one, uh, it's one to many. Okay, it's one to many. Okay, so Wing Sing, very good. Okay, thank you for responding. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Are you ready with this? If you're confused, uh, fine, it's okay. Uh, if you're confused, congratulations. It shows that there are parts that you still need to 
understand you need to do more revision okay then we continue to the uh, b is the answer see the answer turns out okay now this is another one identify which of the following relation are function ah this also these are also four relation the same the same question okay uh function which identify which of the following kena pasti yang mana berikut hubungan berikut adalah uh, fungsi okay berikan sebab anda okay i give you one minute for you to think of then you give me the answer You may type me your answer as you have the answer. Check A, B, C, D and give me your answer. I'm still waiting. Okay, Saranya say A, B, D. Okay, Saranya's answer has turned in. Let me jot down your answer first. A, B, D, A. B, D. It's okay. I'm here not to penalize your right or your wrong. Okay, we are here to share our uh, answer. Okay, our working. Okay, I have another candidate say that A, B, D are function, uh, Ravisha say. And then, wait, I need to go back and see the chat. Uh, Sue say that uh, A and D, I have another set of answer is A and D. A and D. A and D. Okay, this is another set of answer. This is one set of answer. Oh, sorry. Okay, so sensitive. A, B, D, A, B, D are function, okay? So let's check. How about the rest? Guys, to me, these are hot question. Easy, but in exam, you might get, um, don't know whether which one is correct. Don't know how to choose answer. Okay, identify which of the following relations are function. So remember our relation, I repeat that our relation we have four, our relation, I repeat, we have four. It is one to one. Okay, one to many. Okay, many to one and many to many. It's only one to one and many to one. These two are considered as function. All right, these two are considered as function. Please take note. The one to one, okay. You want to have this one, one to one, and many to one. Okay, many to one is a function. All right. Do you know why many to one is a function? Anyone can explain to me. Anyone can explain to me why uh Many to one is a function. Can you give me an example? We are here to, our mission is to discuss hot question. Right? Can you please explain to me why one many to one is a function? Why one to one and many to one are function? Because one object has only one image. As uh, Leon, because you say that one object, then how about many object that has one fun, uh, has one object, has one image, sorry. How about many to one that you are going to explain? Okay, check back your sentence just now. You say because one object has only one image. But when I'm talking about many to one, it's not one object. It's many object. Okay. Who can give me uh, the right, the correct reason? Okay. 
Anyone? Because one object still waiting for you? Come on. The keyword is here. The keyword is here. The keyword is here. The keyword is here. 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 Okay, the keyword is here. No matter how many object that it has, okay, but the turnout should be one image. The only one image, only and one only image, okay? Okay, the only one image. So take note and on that one because uh, if let's say Hot's question turns out, they want you to make sure, uh, they want you to use the correct way to explain. Okay. Okay, now let's continue with our work. Remember, so for function for relation that you want to identify function is this. Okay, the object must have only one image, cannot have two. Can you please give me example? Okay, for if let's say uh, I would like to give you example, I will say that. Mm, for function, function, what is actually what is function? Function is just like our area. Okay, a area for a square. Let's say I say area has, yes. Okay, area has a uh, area for a square. Let's say is x squared. Okay, when I give you a square of the length 3cm, the area that you get is 9. Isn't it? You will not get other answer than 9 for the area. Uh, so this is what it meant. Function. Then why it is... Function is actually our formula. Formula for the area, for the perimeter, for the volume. Then why it is named after function? Because some function, it has no name for it. Okay, it's just a function. It's just a, a, a function. So that's why they use function instead of formula. Okay, remember function is actually uh, partially a part of the formula. I know I will say formula is part of the function. Formula is part of the function. Function is big. Formula is only one part because there are some other part that no have no name. Yeah, so we call it as function. Okay, I do hope that you understand this. Let's continue with this. I'm going to explain to you this. Later, I've got another two things that I want to share with you. Okay. Uh, which of the followings are function? Okay. So let's continue with our discussion here. Okay. Function, this is many to one. Many to one. So many is many to one. Look into this. Many to one, many to one. This is a function. Right? Now, how about B? O, I have one element here where uh, it is the element on the right. By right, it should be domain. But this object is not mapped. It's not mapped. So how do I consider this? Okay, this one, KIV first. Then let's come to C. This is one. One to many. Carbon and oxygen. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide consists of carbon and oxygen. So this is one to many. Automatic, this is not a function because it's one to many. And A, D. D is 2 to 10, 3 to 15, 4 to 20. It's one to one. Yes. Now, you have to come back and think of this. What do you think? B. Is B a function? Now, take note on this. Is B a function? Can you please respond to me? Is B a function? Someone is talking, is it? I can't hear you. Is it no, my teacher? Uh, why not? Why B is not a function? Because... 
each object doesn't have each image. Yes, because there's one object here that do not have that does not have image. Forty nine has not don't have forty nine doesn't have image. So this is not a function. Okay, because every for a function, every single domain must be mapped. Okay, take the note, take the word. Okay, untuk uh, fungsi setiap domain, setiap domain mesti dipetakan. Okay, setiap domain mesti dipetakan. Just like this one, they got arrow. They got arrow, they got arrow for this one. Okay, I highlight this one. The one on here, blue color, I take blue color. The one here, setiap 3, 5, 8, 10, carbon dioxide, water, uh, carbon dioxide, water, and this is 2, 3, 4. But here, I have 9, I have 25, but I don't have 9. At 1249, it's not mapped. So this is not function. Therefore, with the answer A and B is correct. So the answer is B and C, B and C. Or these are, which of the following, I balik the question. Which of the following, I balik the question B and C. So A and D are function. Okay, A and D are function. This answer is not function. The Bali, I jawab soalan. Okay, Nat. Okay, so let's continue with another part. I want to go into another part. This is another question. Antara graf berikut yang manakah mengwakili Satu fungsi dengan jenis hubungan satu kepada satu. Okay, please pay attention here. Okay, of the following graph, which one is representing a function? Uh, Keempat-empat A, B, C, D, they are all function. Uh, you don't have to worry. Because just now for the two question here, you do see the word relation. Okay, you do see the word relation. Okay, sorry, highlight. I want to use highlighter. You do see the word relation here and for the for the earlier question also you see the relation here okay so meaning that this is the first part the relation to the function but for this question okay this yang diberi memang sudah merupakan fungsi these four graphs they are function okay and out of these four function they ask you to identify which one is one to one? Okay. How are you going to identify? Because function is not given to you. It is not, as I told you, function can be given to you as in arrow diagram, as in graph. Okay. Now you see it as in graph. Now for this question, they don't ask you the relation whether it's a, a function, uh, which one is function. But now they are asking you, out of these fun four, four, fun uh, four function, which one is one to one? So how are you going to make sure that by using one method, you get to know the answer? Can anybody tell me? What method that you're going to use to identify whether this, uh, how to observe that the function given to you is one to one? Horizontal. Okay, horizontal. Okay, if let's say go for horizontal. Okay, Saranya, please uh, explain a little bit why do you, uh, horizontal. Okay, how do you say? Okay, let's say I form my horizontal. Okay, everybody look up here. Okay, horizontal, I use um, red color. Horizontal. Okay, I see one intersecting point. I have horizontal, I see two intersecting point. I have horizontal, I have one, two intersecting point. I have horizontal, I have one intersecting point. Okay, how do you choose the answer? Okay, when you're talking about horizontal line test that I'm giving you the horizontal line. Okay, the red color is horizontal. Horizontal is parallel to X axis. Okay, horizontal. Garis ujian mengufuk. In Malay, we call it garis ujian mengufuk. Okay, the red color is garis ujian mengufuk, horizontal line test. Now, Sarania, please, uh, can you give me the answer? Which one is your answer? Come on, you can do it. Okay. 
one to one has inverse function and uh, it will intersect at one point only. Now refer to the question. Okay, antara graf berikut yang manakah mewakili satu fungsi dengan jenis hubungan satu kepada satu? So what is your answer? What is your answer? A and D. Okay, do you agree A and D? Okay. A and D. Okay, now let's check on this. Because it says, you know that one to one, right? One to one. How to check one to one? Okay, let's say for this point, as Saranya said, so I go up from here, X will be your domain. X will be your domain. Okay, X will be your domain. I go up here. Where's my pen? Okay. I go up from here. Okay, I go up from here. Where's my pen? Pen. Okay, I go up from here. One point. Okay, I go up from here. Here. I go up from here. This is domain one. This is domain two. Then I go up to here. So means that I have x1, x2. Let's say this is y1. Go to y1. All right? So for this case, is x1, y1. Okay, this is x to y. Okay, for this case, here... Here, the same thing, x1, x2 to y1. So this is x1, x2 to y1. Okay, how about this? This is here and here. So this is x1 to y1. All right, so which one is 1 to 1? Means that your answer is correct, A and D. Again, okay, a and D. Okay, now for horizontal test is to be used on how to check uh, whether the function is one to why do you need to have horizontal test to on uh, for this? Okay, why do you need this? Remember just now that I told you our earlier lesson, we have four relation. Okay, out of the four relation. There are two will be identified as function, right? And out of the two, which is one to one and many to one as a function, and out of these two, out of these two, is only one that will be identified as inverse function. So which is the one that has inverse function? It's the one to one. So in order to check on this, what do we use? We use the horizontal line test. Meaning that for function D, okay, for the graph D and the graph A, they have inverse. Okay, meaning that you can get the inverse function. B and C cannot. Because why can't? Okay. Why can't, if let's say exam, they ask you for the reason why can't. For inverse function, you go the other way around. The green color representing inverse. Okay, let's say I now I use highlighter, the green color, gemuk, gemuk one. So now you see. So if now for the inverse, Y will become the object. X1 and X2 will become the image. One object has many image okay has more than one image then it is not a function therefore this is a function but it has not it the inverse function does not exist is that clear please respond to me 
Yes, teacher. Okay. Please take note. If I have hot question, I will ask question on this. So since just now, uh, Saranya mentioned about horizontal line test. Horizontal line test. Now I'd like to go to vertical. Vertical. What is vertical line test? Okay, what is vertical line test? Vertical is the line that parallel with the y axis. Okay, if you refer to my screen now, you will see that the red line so intersect at the green, the red color line, the my horizontal line, my vertical line, my vertical line is in red color. The intersect with the graph, which is green color, at one point. Okay, so take note, vertical line test is used to observe when relation given to you, okay, when relation given to you, you want to check whether they are function or not. So you use vertical line test. Just now still remember that I told you it might be uh, three ways that question given to you, the arrow diagram. The arrow diagram we identified by having the arrow, right? Just now I guided you. Now, if let's say they give you the graph test, graph test, if let's say they don't give you the function, they don't give you the domain, you might not be able to draw the uh, arrow diagram. So if you couldn't draw the arrow diagram, you will need the vertical line test to check the relation given to you, which is considered as function. Okay, so that's why I told you just now, A, B, C, D, these four graphs, they are all function. So we can prove it by using the vertical line test here. So you have the vertical line, line there, and the vertical line intersect the green line at one point. Each vertical line, each vertical line intersect the green line at a point. So this is one point. Okay, wait, uh, I choose the color first. Okay, this is one point. This is the second point. Different vertical line, different point. The third vertical line, third point. So every single line, because of a graph, you have to go from the last, from the first to the last point. You have to, you have to move your vertical line throughout. Okay, you have to move your vertical line from the left to the right or the right to the left. You must move on to see, is there any possible or any position that you have two intersecting points? If a line, a one vertical line that intersect the green color at two points, then it is not a function for that relation. But for this, it is a function. Okay, these four relation given to you is they are function because every single vertical line intersect the green line at one point. Is that clear? So if I give you hot question, I may prompt this question to you. I will ask you to prove. Okay, well, how do you prove? It's by drawing the line. So if let's say this question asking you to prove whether uh, the one given to you as function or not, then you use horizontal line, you use the wrong method. I won't say that it's wrong, but wrong method. Marks will be given or not, it depends on the uh, schema from Lembaga, right? So remember, vertical line test is to use for the relation given to you, okay? You want to test whether they are function or not. So that's how we, that's why we use the vertical line test. For function given to you, you want to test whether uh, it is one-to-one -one function or I may say that which function given to you has inverse function, then you use the horizontal test. Okay, I make a note here for you. This horizontal test is used to check on the function one-to-one. -one. Or you may, I may add, you may use it to check on is inverse function. Okay, exists. If inverse function exists. So vertical line, uh, horizontal line test got its uh, mission. Vertical line test has its mission as well. Right? 
So A and D. Uh, just now, Saranya, your answer, right? Correct? A and D. Okay. So just nice. One hour class. All right. So any comment from you about the uh, the class on this time? Hey, or you want you want to have any question to ask? No. Okay, please take note. I just now I tell I was telling you the arrow diagram and uh, I'm not doing uh, written work with you. Written work you have lots on YouTube. So I'll prompt this kind of question to you that the hot question. Right, so you must know when to use horizontal, even though horizontal test. Oh, yeah, wait before you leave. My goodness, I've for forgotten about something. Okay, wait, I wait. I'll give me a few minutes. I've forgotten about this. Okay, now I have one question for you. Maybe take you a few minutes here. Let's come back to our slide. Okay, here. Okay, I would like you to check on, give me one example. I can, I have only one example for you. May use only one example. Very quick. So y equals to 2x plus 7. Now we are going into inverse. Okay. Okay, look for the inverse for me. What is the inverse function? Very fast. So how do you check your inverse? Your homework? Let y become, uh, let y plus, let x. Okay, let X, let your Y, okay, correct, 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 I put lupa ini, Y become 2X plus 7, why do you use let? Because you want to make your X as your subject, so X will be equal to 7 minus Y over 2, so therefore your inverse function of X will be X minus 7 over 2, am I right? Do you get this? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, now, please take note. I'm now bringing you to another slide for you to see what's happening here. So, take, take, uh, take note of this. Take note of this. Okay, for y equals to 2x plus 7 and the uh, inverse. Okay, let me jot down first my inverse. Later, I lupa pula. Okay, x minus 7 over 2. Okay, I want to bring you to here. Let's cut this one. I bring you to here. Mm, here. Okay, this is my graph, right? So, do you see my uh, line? Do you see my screen? My Oh, sorry. I don't know whether you can see my screen or not. Do you see my screen of the Desmos? Nampak, yes. nampak. Nampak, eh? Okay, because I share screen just now. Okay, now what happened? So I'm going to prompt you my inverse. So you look into, you jangan tengok ini lah. I padamkan ini semua because I'm not going to discuss all this. I show you one question only. Okay, this is my direct question, uh, my direct function, right? Y equals to 2x plus 7, right? So the inverse will be y equals to x minus 7 over 2. Do you get this just now, right? So now you check on this. The blue color line and the red color line. Okay. In hot question, they might give you just this. They'll give you the red color line. It might be, uh, normally it will be on cutter simply. And you need to come up with your inverse line. Okay. The inverse graph, lah, the, in, the inverse uh, function graph. So this is you draw, you form the inverse function, you get, uh, uh, because it's a linear graph, you need two coordinates, so you plot the coordinate, then you sketch the graph. So this is what you get. Now, what is the relation? What is the relation between the red color and the green color? Okay, what is the relation between the green color and the red color? It's actually, eh, wait, I tak ada padam, I punya wait, ah. I the padam I put your function just now. Okay. So now this one. What is the relation between the red color and the blue color? It is actually reflected on the line of y equals to x. Do you get me? So that is how you get the inverse. Why it is like that? Okay. For the inverse function, 
this one can I write? I cannot write here. Okay. Okay, for I cannot write here, so you have to see my arrow moving. So for this graph, let's say for a coordinate here, I prompt you the coordinate. I want to, okay, here. At this coordinate, it is 1, 9. Do you see my coordinate 1, 9 here that I show you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, you see my 1, 9. So on the red line, when it is reflected, it will be 9, 1. Okay, I move a little bit because I couldn't get it. Uh, it's here. Uh, what, 9, 1. Just now was 1, 9. Now 9, 1. Okay, Nat? Still remember just now when we are talking about our image, our object domain, which is 1 to the image as 9, our object 1 to the image 9, the direct function. So the inverse function will be 9 as the object now go to the image as 1. So this is what happening. Okay, so how, do, how does this thing happen? It's actually reflected on the line of y equals to x. Okay, let me show you some other I have prepared here. So this is my, I take away this one. So this is one on my direct function again. Y equals to 5x minus 7. So by operating let y become 5x minus 7, the normal working that you do, you will get this, the purple color line. Okay, what is the relation here? How are they connected? It's actually the green line is reflected on the y equals to x. Right, so for another one that I want to show you, which is more difficult, a bit difficult, not linear, but it's a reciprocal graph. Okay, this is a reciprocal graph. Okay, then you will get it as inverse as well. You show your working. So this is your working. Okay, how is this connected? The red color is reflected on this blue color. And this red color is reflected on this blue color on the line of y equals to x that is why when you are in lower uh, secondary you learn uh, reflection okay reflection part of reflection is in here okay do you understand so uh, today our lesson we have uh, come up with what is horizontal line vertical line how to use these two and how to draw the graph of inverse in the uh, in your Cartesian plane. So if I have caught question, I was prompt something like this, that it is not in your reading, but it's a knowledge. A very simple question, but um, if you don't study, but you think of it, you will get the answer as well, right? So uh, that's all our class for today. Okay, so any comment? Do you like the slot of this kind? Yes. Mm, because something different or for other things, uh, you can just Google YouTube. Okay, you can just Google, you choose which is the, uh, you like which teacher's voice, uh, then you go and follow. Lah, huh? For that, we don't mind. Are uh, we... Yeah, reflect. So yes, reflect to the line of y equals to x. Yes, you are right. Very good. So I do hope that today you learn something new. Okay, that I consider it has it as hot question. Okay, Nat? Okay. So uh, with that, Puan Yus nak cakap apa apa ke? Cikgu Yus ada lagi kat situ? Ada. Saya ada. Okay, Cikgu Yus nak cakap apa apa tak? Uh, Tahniah lah pada yang hadir hari ni. Okay. Yeah. God bless you, you guys lah. Okay. Yeah. 26 orang ni cemenang dalam MX. Yes. You know why? Because, mm, class. Mm, because mm. Uh, I do. I pun tak expect ramai yang akan hadir. Uh, that's why I don't make it longer. It's of mm. one hour that I can input as many things that I can. Yang tentang hot question. Betul. Okay. Make it simple kan? Simple dan semua orang dapat. Yes. Okay. With that, I thank you. Thank you for your attendance. I love you. So I see you tomorrow.
at nine o'clock. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye semua. Take care. Bye, take care. Thank you, Panggan. Bye. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Besok you pergi sekolah tak? Besok pergi. Ah, besok saya pun pergi. Perasan besok... tak? Fah macam tak, 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 tak ada. Tak ada. Fah macam hilang. Fah tak tahu dia dia kenapa. Bye, teacher. Yang... Oh, uh, kejap, kejap, kejap. Kejap. <laughs> kejap eh. Ini budak-budak ni si ho. Uh, si... Uh, uh, apa? Budak kita punya penan kita punya Google Class hari tu tak ramai pun yang hentak. Oh ya. Yeah. Hmm, Bila hari tu tak tahu apa. Tapi I pun I biarlah budak pun dia tak nak buat. Hmm. So I pun buat so I pun buat uh, kelas ini I nak tengok uh, perangai mereka macam mana. Hmm. Tengok yang hadir pun tak ramai yang nak hadir, nak, yang hadir. Hmm. So just biarkanlah so at least uh, mereka akan beritahu kawan-kawan dia uh, yang kelas tu kita bukan yang yang penerangan macam biasa. Hmm. Okay, you rasa okay hmm. tak yang slot macam tadi? Okay Something new kan? I pun tengah fikir yes, I... apa? Dia tak perlu nak fokus banyak cabang kan? So fokus satu je uh, Nak cerita tentang Hockey Horizon I, ta- I risau nanti dia keluar soalan yang hot macam itu Dia yeah, bagi betul. Slot, lepas tu suruh dia lukis hmm. dia, dia satu atau dua markah So dia tak boleh buang masa untuk lukis banyak Kalau dia boleh dapat reflection terus dia lukis Then cepatlah hmm, Betul? Dua point hmm. Okay lah, so I see you tomorrow dekat school. Ada kat sekolah. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.